who's coming to play. Another wildflower in the cherry blossom wood. The animals live quietly in their little neighborhood. Life was simply perfect, and things were always the same. Until one day, a stranger arrived. Big Bunny was his name. Big Bunny came bouncing back. I'm moving in here, he said. He dug an enormous burrow and fixed all over there. He thumped his back foot crossly and dived down on the ground. What are you all staring at? Warned the Big Bunny looking around. Maybe he's just shy, said Owl. It's not easy when you're new. Make Big Bunny more confident. He'll also make friends with me. So the field mice invited him to come for tea at work. They heard him bounding down the path and stepped on their front door. Big Bunny had terrible manners. He gobbled up all the food, jumped on the cake, and slurped the cream. He was really very rude. Come swimming with us, said the otters. You'll think it's really cool. All right, said Big Bunny. He did, but then he brought it in the pool. When the baby badgers were napping, Big Bunny shouted, Boo! You naughty bunny, they squealed. We've had enough of you. The animals of Jerry Blossom were cross and a little bit sad. We've tried our best, they said to Owl. But, the, but that Big Bunny is just so bad. Owl sat and thought for a while. I got a plan, he said. We won't be mean to Bunny. We'll do something nice instead. I whispered to the animals, and everyone seemed delighted. They began to run all over the wood, and we were terribly excited. The squirrels gathered nuts, and the mice followed lovely treats. The badgers blew up a root, and the other, uh, and the otters made some seeds. In their den, the little foxes all began to bake. There's no time to lose, they said. There are lots of things to make. The smells in cherry blossom wood were sugary and delicious. Big Bunny got a whiff and soon became suspicious. Something's up, he thought. I definitely smell a rat. They're having fun without me. I'll put an end to that. He bounded into the clearing. Hope he is at one great leap. Aha! Uh -huh, he cried, bouncing off the jelly and landing in the sea. Big Bunny felt a bit silly as everyone stood and started. This is all for you, said Owl. He wanted to show you he cared. I'm sorry, said Big Bunny. He suddenly felt so sad. Cheer up, cried the other animals. You're really not that bad. Let's get that a party started, cried Owl. We'll make Big Bunny welcome here. Yes, please, cried Big Bunny. Um, as everyone gave a cheer, Big Bunny was never bad after that because he had lots of friends. Cherry Blossom Wood was perfect again, and that is a story and.